Marvin Bush, George, and Barbara's youngest son, was born in 1956. Barbara and George had six children together, including another daughter who died at a very young age. All of the Bush's children will no doubt miss their mother terribly now that she has passed away at the age of 92. Here's everything you need to know about Marvin Bush. 1. Marvin was named after his grandfather Marvin Bush was named after his grandfather, Marvin Pierce. 2. He went to Woodbury Forest School in Virginia and graduated in 1975. He then attended the University of Virginia and earned a bachelor's in English. He was a member of the Delta Phi fraternity and spent most of his summers at the Bush family estate. From left to right in the photo above are Neil, Jeb, and Marvin Bush in this May 1961 photo. Marvin once said about his mother, Barbara Bush, my mother is extraordinary. She wakes up each morning and says, how can I make another person's life better today? 2. Marvin endorsed Gary Johnson for President Marvin grabbed headlines in 2016 when he endorsed the libertarian candidate Gary Johnson for president rather than Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. He said he was voting for Johnson because Johnson and his running mate, Bill Weld, were both two-term governors and, he believed, they were closer to what Republicans had once wanted than Trump. He also did not like Trump's negativity or Clinton's controversies. He said of his decision, that's why I'm voting libertarian. A hundred percent, both Gary Johnson and Bill Weld were each successful two-term governors who balance their budgets so they're fiscally conservative and their essential message is get bureaucracy off our backs, which used to be a part of what the Republicans believed. No member of the family attended the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. Marvin had previously supported his brother, Jeb, in the primaries until Trump won the nomination. Three. He has ulcerative colitis Marvin, an investment manager, worked as director of HCC Insurance Holdings, a publicly traded insurance company, formerly called Houston Casualty Company. He was also on the board of directors for Securicom from 1993 to 2000. In 2008, he appeared in the 2008 documentary about Lee Atwater titled Boogeyman. In 1990, he revealed that he had ulcerative colitis, the Baltimore Sun reported. He did so to support the National Foundation for Iolitis and Colitis, which he said was the only time he used his father's name to benefit something. He said, as the president's son, I think I'm always scrutinized. People prejudge me and I couldn't care less. I look at the flip side, and this is an opportunity to be heard, and they needed a spokesperson who would be heard. Another part is selfish, because I've truly come to believe that a part of the healing process comes from helping other people.
He was diagnosed when he was only 28 and was getting worse, even with medication. He had to go to the hospital in 1986 for treatment because he was so ill that he lost 30 pounds and was bleeding internally. Part of his colon was removed and he had an ostomy, an opening in his stomach where wasted are emptied into an external pouch. He had a second surgery in 1987 to remove his entire colon. He said his parents helped him survive the ordeal. His father was at his bedside every morning and night, and his mother spent hours with him every day. Four. He's married and has two adopted children Marvin is married to Margaret Conway and they have two children that they adopted in Fort Worth, their daughter Marshall Lloyd, born 1986, and their son Charles Walker, born 1989. They adopted their children from the Gladney Center. Margaret Bush was his college sweetheart. Five. Marvin was nicknamed Marvelous by his family Marvin was nicknamed Marvelous by his family, the New York Times reported. While his brother was president, he would go to the White House to watch sports and he spent weekends at Camp David. He wasn't into politics like Jeb and George were. He once said that Jeb was the serious one and George was the family clown. But the entire family is very close and spends quite a bit of time together.